Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up an AI compositing pipeline. Um, and what this pipeline is going to allow you to do is put a virtual environment behind you without the need of green screen. Um, so I'll be taking myself out of my bedroom here and putting myself in a virtual environment. Um, no green screen involved, no external hardware, just a webcam and a laptop. So to start, um, what we're going to want to do is download the NVIDIA Broadcast application. Um, this will then allow us to bring in our webcam feed or camera feed if you have one. I'm currently set up with a webcam, just a simple HD one at 30 frames per second. Um, so now we've got this feed in here. Uh, you can add effects to it. You want to select the background replacement. And that's the current one. And then when you apply it, as you can see, I've got a AI composite straight off the bat. And it's fairly decent in its, in its ability as well. I mean, I've seen a hell of a lot worse, that's for sure. Um, and I've currently got a green behind me for later steps in the pipeline. But you, you know, you feel free to just put a 2D image behind you and you can be finished here real time without any green screen. And yeah, so you can just put a 2D image if you wish. But for the, for the pipeline currently following, we need green behind us. And then we have quality or performance. This all depends on your computer spec. Uh, I'm currently going for quality because I want to have the best results to show you guys. So that's all up to you, whichever one you want to choose there. So after we've got this green behind us and a real-time AI composite going on, what you're going to want to do is bring this into OBS. As you can see, I've already done this. Um, and the way you get the NVIDIA broadcast output into OBS is you create a video capture device. Um, and then there'll be a NVIDIA broadcast option within there. Really straightforward to add in. And then we have a Sprout Capture. Um, this Sprout Capture is part of a plugin, which you'll have to download for OBS. I'll have it in the description. If you look down there, I can, you know, you'll, you'll be able to see it. Um, and what this allows you to do is capture the OBS image or whatever you're capturing here and output it to other places. For example, the Unreal Engine, which is what we will be doing. So to do this, as you can see, it's not capturing anything currently because we need to go down into tools and from tools go sprout output settings. And we just want to start this. So once we start, as you can see, whatever's in this window here is being output. Um, you also want to take note of your output name. This will be useful to us as we go into the engine. So, but for now, we can close this and close this. And I believe we're ready to go into Unreal. So if we let's make a new project. If I go into the Epic Games launcher, uh, I'm currently working in 4.26. I believe it, there's a 4.27 version, um, but I'm just currently working 4.26. Uh, so I'm just gonna open a film and television blank uh, scene and call it something simple like no green screen. Okay, I want. And as you can see, the results of this um, AI composite are pretty decent off the bat without any tweaking or anything. It's a really nice and simple setup to get. Um, so as, as the engine opens, you want to go into plugins, down to other, and you want to install this off-world live, live streaming camera. And this is essentially the second half of the Sprout OBS plugin. So what this will allow you to do is um, it take in the output, which we're doing from OBS, but it would also allow you to stream from Unreal to the OBS uh, uh, capture. Um, so now that's installed, it will be in our plugins folder um, and we can search for a OWL receiver and put this in the scene. So you're going to, I, you don't have to zero this. I'm just a little bit OCD with my scenes. 
So now that's set there, we can uh, select the receiver active and you want to input the receiver name. Now the receiver name is this um, output name from before. So you want to see that, command C that, and then just paste it into there. And now when we select a texture, we should be able to get a render target. And as you can see, I'm now live coming into the engine. Um, so the next point after this is down the composure pipeline. So we're just going to create an empty shot and call it comp, something nice and simple. And then I'm going to add a media plate to it. And I'm going to select this and call it film. And then on the input, we're going to come down into inputs, media source, and we don't want a media source in this variety. So we're going to want to change this to media from a media texture to a texture input as we have a uh, as we have a render target um, texture, not a media texture. So then when we come in here, we should be able to search for position one. And here I am, as you can see. Now we will pull a quick key. Um, just going into here, adding a chroma color, going it's something around here. This isn't going to be perfect, but it'll give you an idea. Um, and pull these out. So let's do a quick blue spill, pull a color for that as well. Here we go. So if we now preview this film, as you can see, uh, we're pretty nicely cut out straight off the bat. I mean, definitely better results than, you know, say you're in a Zoom call or something. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a very nice result considering it's totally just normal behind me. So the next stage for this now is to add our CG layers. So we want to go into here, add CG. I'm just going to call this CG. Um, and we're also going to need to add a sin camera. So again, I'm just going to zero this out. Maybe put like 120 for the height. And maybe pull it down a little bit so you can see some horizon. Okay, perfect. So now we want to go into our comp, set that camera, and add a transform pass. And then down here, we're just going to chuck together a quick uh, comp material, comp transform mat. And then we're going to open this up. And the first thing you want to do is change it to a post process. And then from here, then th you do that so it doesn't clash with any other. Uh, materials or blueprints. Um, now we want a 2D texture sample. So this one. Uh, I'm going to call this one film. And I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to call this one CG. And there we go. So then coming out of the RGBA, I mean, if you know Composure, you'll know all of this stuff already, but it's just really nice and simple uh, blueprint here. And as we go in a mist of color, and there you go. And you feel free to add foregrounds and masks and all of that stuff. But for now, as you can see, I'm just trying to get a nice, simple composite going. And I mean, totally, totally valid um, results. Um, if I pull up the NVIDIA um, background and I can show how we're going from totally, totally white and <laughs> hard to composite backgrounds into a totally AI rendered um, com compositing one. I mean, it's pretty cool just as a concept. Um, I'd really like I think what I'll do here is I'm I'm going to keep testing with this. Hopefully, put 
a 4K camera, possibly some of our studio cameras into this and and have a play at how it how it performs. Um, yeah, uh, so thank you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you want to see us do. But hopefully this is interesting and a bit useful to you. Let me know how you get on. Thank you.